Okay, uh, Maria, uh, can you briefly explain your connection to Huntington's disease? Yes, my uh, dad is positive with Huntington's disease. My nan passed away a couple of years ago with HD as well. And uh, is anyone else in your family uh, affected by HD? Most of my aunties and uncles on my dad's side are. Uh, how many are at risk in your family that you know of? About eight. So has growing up in a family affected by Huntington's disease affected uh, you personally? So it can affect me a little, but growing up I've, I'm used to it because I've always grown up with it. So it's just like normal every day thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, is it something that you think about a lot? Sometimes, yeah. I do think about it a lot. And you said your father has it? Yeah. Or well, that he's positive? Is he symptomatic? His early stages, he suffers from depression and the mood swings side. Um, is it difficult when he's depressed or when he's uh, having these mood swings? Does, is it, does it cause difficulties in the house? Yeah, it can do, yeah, because there's arguments and things like that going on. And it's hard to have to listen to it at times. And who's your dad arguing with? My mum. And they're not just arguing over the cooking or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> so when did you decide that you wanted to get tested? I decided when I turned 18 that it was going to be an option for me and I really wanted to know myself. And I thought really if I knew I could plan my life more. So. Out of interest, did you tell your family uh, straight away that you were going to get tested? Yeah, they supported me a lot <clears throat> and they went with it, with me, to like, all the appointments. Who, your mum and dad? Mum and dad, yeah. Uh, and how long did your testing process last? Testing process lasted about six to seven, eight months. And did you have uh, an appointment every month? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and how did you find the genetic counselling? It was alright, it just was repeated a lot of it. Every month was kind of repeated, the same things. Did that uh, annoy you, frustrate you? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I just wanted to get to the point of being tested and knowing. Um, and how was the, the wait in between having your blood taken and waiting for your results appointment? It was a bit stressful at times, because I kept having things running from my head, thinking, well, if I don't have it, then, oh, yeah, that's great. And then if I do have it, oh, what am I going to do? And how long did you have to wait? A month. A month? Yeah. Um, and so how did you feel on the day that you got your results? I felt positive, because when we had, like, the assessments, they couldn't see any signs of Huntington's and that made me think, oh yeah, I've got a chance kind of thing. And then when I went in, I was more positive and that was it really. And they, uh, and you got a, a positive result? Yeah. And that kind of pushed me back then. And your mum and dad were there for that one? Yeah. <coughs> and how did they take it? My dad was upset a lot, like knowing that he'd passed it on to me obviously. I'm the youngest, I'm his baby, and he's gave it to me, really. So he was upset. You mentioned that you're the youngest. Yeah. Uh, how many siblings do you have? I've got three sisters. And are they at risk? Two are, one's not. She was tested and she had a negative result. Does that affect your relationship with your sister who's tested negative? No. The fact that you're positive? No, not at all. Because she's more supportive towards me. And she's even said in time, she will be there for me and she will help me with it. Uh, do you ever symptom hunt at all? Sometimes, yeah. If I trip, I think, oh, you know, a slight twitch will make me think it's starting. And do you find that difficult to, to cope with? Um, not difficult, because I know that one day that it will start, so it's just waiting. Uh, and, and how do you cope knowing that you're uh, positive and that one day, like you said, it, it will start? Well, at first I coped fine with it and then later 
it kind of hit me and actually realised like what was going on. And then I started to go a bit depressed with it. Did you seek any help for your depression? Yeah. I'm on like obviously medication for depression now, which helps a lot. And do you feel uh, positive about the future? Yeah. Especially with lots of like things going on. Research wise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's that's pretty much everything I think. Thank you very much. You're welcome.